In this video, we're looking at construction 10, which is asking us to construct an accurate drawing of a triangle ABC with three given sides. Now, they'll have to give you the length of the three sides in your exam question. In this particular video, I'm going to work with six centimeters, five centimeters, and four centimeters as the lengths of the three sides. So basically, before we get into our construction, what that is basically asking us to do is uh, construct a triangle of one length being six, the second being five, and the third one being four. So we're going to use our compass, ruler, and pencil to construct that triangle. First thing we're going to do is, in order to create this baseline here, we are first of all going to draw a ray on our page. Now a ray is a line which starts at a point and goes to infinity. So with your pencil and ruler, construct your ray. So it starts at a point and goes to infinity. Again, I don't know where that line goes to. I'm going to label the point here at the start of my ray, that's going to be my point A, I'm going to call it. So I'm going to put a dot there and I'm going to label it A. At the end of my ray, I'm just going to put in my arrows to denote that it goes to infinity. I now want to measure a length of six centimeters on that ray. So I'm going to take out my ruler now and my compass. So with my ruler and my compass, I'm going to measure a length of six centimeters on my compass. So I'm putting the nib at zero now and I'm extending it out to six centimeters. So that's going to give me the length of my baseline on my triangle. Okay, so I've done that. I've measured six centimeters on my compass. I'll put away my ruler now for a second, and I'm gonna bring the nib of my compass down to A, and I'm basically just going to draw an arc on that line. So there's my red arc, which has now going to measure distance from A to that arc of six centimeters. So I'm gonna label this little point here at the nib of my pencil, the corner B. So I'm gonna put away my compass and with my pencil label that point B. I'm also gonna write in the length of that line. So the line segment now from A to B is now six centimeters in length. So I'm gonna write in my six centimeters here. Okay, next thing I want to do is construct this line here on the left-hand side of my triangle, which is five centimeters in length. So once again here, I'm going to take out my ruler and my compass. And with my compass, I'm going to again place the nib of my compass at zero, and I'm now going to change the length of my radius down to five centimeters this time. So again, tighten in your compass there at five centimeters. I'm going to remove my ruler now and put the nib of my compass at the point B. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swing the arc of my compass and I'm going to basically create an arc up here. Now again, I don't know the distance to draw my arc, so I'll make it maybe about a third or a quarter of the circle. So I'm just going to basically draw an arc here. Again, I may need to come back and extend it, but I hope that that should be fine. So there's my arc, which is now going to be five centimeters. So the distance from A out to that arc is now five centimeters in length. My final step is now to construct this side of length four. Again, I'm going to use my compass and my ruler. Notice that I've not connected A to this arc with my ruler yet, because I don't know where exactly my line is going to go to. So I'm going to take out my ruler now and my compass, and I'm going to sit my compass once again with the nib at zero. And I am now going to change my pencil radius not to five centimeters, but I'm gonna bring it in now to four centimeters. So the length of my, my radius on my compass is now four centimeters. I can now put away my ruler and I'm gonna bring the nib of my pencil, or of my compass, I should say, down to the point B. And the aim here now is that my pencil will intersect this, uh, this arc. So I'm just going to change the color of my pencil here so we can see it and I'm going to construct my arc so I'm going to hold my compass from the top draw my arc and you can see that it's intersecting that purple arc so if I remove my compass here now you can see that the purple and the green arc are intersecting now if I use my ruler and connect a to that point where they intersect that will be five centimeters in length and when I connect b 
to that point where they intersect, that'll be four centimeters. So in other words, where these two arcs are intersecting is now the point C on my triangle. So I'm gonna write in that point C. So now with my ruler, I'm gonna move it over to the point A and I'm going to make it line up with the point C, as you can see it has here, and I'm going to connect the point A and C. So with my pencil, I'm drawing a line from A to the point C. I'm now going to rotate my ruler and connect the point B to C. So I'm moving my ruler over to the point B and through the point C, and I'm going to connect them with my pencil. And if I'm removing my ruler, you will now see the triangle ABC. I'm now going to mark in the lengths of those sides. So if I mark in my five centimeters and my four centimeters. And that is now the triangle with three sides measuring six, five, and four centimeters. That is construction 10. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.